captions in English, please. So this is the ninth video of chapter eight, and we will learn to calculate molecular formulas for compounds. So the molecular formula is always a whole number multiple uh, of the empirical formula. They are related by this uh, number n, a whole number. And we need to find n in the expression. So molecular formula, molar mass. So the molar mass of the molecular formula is equal to the empirical formula molar mass times n. So that's the n we need to find. Uh, but we can find it in this expression. If we know the molar mass of our compound, it's equal to the empirical formula molar mass times n. So solving for n, we find that n is equal to the molar mass of the molecular formula over the molar mass of the empirical formula. So if you're given, uh, if somehow you can find both, or given, you're given uh, the molecular formula, this one will have to be given. And if you can find the empirical formula and then calculate its molar mass, then you can find n. And then this way you can multiply the empirical formula by n and get the molecular formula of your compound. So let's go through an example to see how it's done. Uh, calculating the molecular formula of fructose. So find the molecular formula for fructose. It's a sugar found in fruits from its empirical formula. So the empirical formula is CH2O and its molar mass, so this would have to be given, is 180.2 grams per mole. The molar mass of the compound will have to be given to you in order to determine a molecular formula. And so the molecular formula is a whole number multiple of CH2O. So we need to find that N that will multiply the empirical formula to get the molecular formula. So for fructose, the empirical formula is CH2O. And so the molar mass is gonna be, so you, you have this formula, so calculate the molar mass by taking the molar mass of carbon one time, so 12.01 times one, the molar mass of hydrogen, 1.01 times two, because there's two hydrogens in the empirical formula, plus 16.00 times one, because there's only one oxygen in the, um, in the empirical formula. Adding all of this up, it's uh, 30.03 grams per mole. So that's the empirical formula molar mass for fructose. Therefore, N is, so by definition, N is the molar mass of the molecular formula over the molar mass of the empirical formula. Here, the molecular formula, the, the molar mass of the molecular formula was given. It's 180.2 grams per mole. And the molar mass of the empirical formula we just calculated, it's 30.03 grams per mole. And so doing this division comes down to six. So n is equal to six. Then we can use this value of n to find the molecular formula by uh, multiplying the empirical formula by six. You know, when we say that, we mean that we are changing the subscript by multiplying each subscript of the empirical formula by six. And so C1 times six is going to be C6. H2 times six is going to be H12. And O1 times six is going to be O6. So the molecular formula of fructose is C6H12O6. So let's go through some uh, concept check here. So we have an unknown compound is analy analyzed by mass spectro spectrometry and its molar mass is found to be 60.03 grams per mole. Elemental analysis shows that the compound consists of 40% of carbon, 6.67% of hydrogen, and 53.3% of oxygen. Determine the empirical formula and the molecular formula for the unknown compound. So uh, we are given the molar mass, uh, but that's going to be used in the last step. First, we need to use the elemental analysis uh, data to find the empirical formula. 
And here you're given uh, basically the mass percent of, uh, of your compound. So it's a percentages, but you know it's percentages by mass. So if you take your uh, sample to be 100 gram, if your compound is 100 gram, uh, you know the sample size, then uh, the mass of carbon will be 40 grams, the mass of uh, hydrogen will be 6.7, and the mass of oxygen will be 53.3 grams of oxygen. So by assuming you have a 100 gram sample, uh, then you change the percentages in two grams for each uh, element. So now that we have the masses for each element, we can convert them to a number of moles. And so here, uh, let's start with carbon. If you take 40.0 uh, grams of carbon and divide by the molar mass, uh, such that the grams cancel, uh, you will get 3.33 moles of carbon. We keep three sig figs because of the 40.0 grams uh, being given with three sig figs. For hydrogen, you take 6.67 grams of hydrogen, divide by the molar mass of hydrogen, and that's 1.01 grams per mole. We uh, divide because this way we can sell the grams of hydrogen, and we get 6.604 moles of hydrogens. And let's do the same with um, oxy oxygen. 53.3 grams of oxygen divided by 16 grams per mole of oxygen. Uh, written this way such that we cancel grams of oxygen and we are left with 3.33 moles of oxygen. The next step is to write the pseudo formula for um, the compound with C having the subscript of 3.33, H a subscript of 6.604 and O a subscript of 3.33. Next, you uh, need to divide all of the subscripts by the smallest of the subscript value. And here we have two times the same, it's 3.33. That's the smaller uh, subscript. So we'll divide all three subscripts by that. So 3.33 divided by 3.33 for carbon and oxygen. That's gonna make a subscript of ones for those two. And then for hydrogen, it comes down to two. So the formula is C1H2O1. And that's uh, CH2O because we are omitting the um, subscript of ones. That, so that's the empirical formula. Next, we need to find the molecular formula. So the empirical formula is CH2O. -O. So to find the molecular formula, we need to find the molar mass of this empirical formula. So let's find the molar mass of the empirical formula of CH2O. And we've done already that earlier, and it's uh, 1 times 12.01 plus 2 times 1.01 plus 1 times 16. And that's 30.03 grams per mole. So once we have the empirical formula molar mass and we uh, are given the molar mass uh, for the molecular formula, uh, here it's given as 60.03 grams per mole. So the next step is to use the uh, formula for N. N is equal to the molar mass of the molecular formula over the molar mass of the empirical formula. So we take 60.03 over 30.03, and that comes down to n equal 2. So that means to get the uh, molecular formula, we will multiply the subscript of the empirical formula by 2. Multiply uh, by 2. So CH2O multiplied by 2 is going to be C2H4O2. And that's the formula of our compound in this uh, concept check eight.